Hey guys, Brian Lebo here with a quick November update for you. Now, much like I predicted in the beginning of the year, the market is perfectly steady right now. We're sitting on a nice plateau and normal real estate rules are back in full motion. All right, first up, let's discuss the current inventory levels. As you can see on the screen right now, we ended October with 7,958 homes on the market. This was only half a percent increase from the previous month. Now, this is still a great sign of stability since two years ago, it went up 10%. And this time last year, our inventory went up 3%. Again, complete stability. Okay, now let's break down our inventory. Only 9.6% of the market are short sales, 3.9% are foreclosures, and 86.4% are normal or traditional sales. Now, as the market has increased, we're seeing less and less short sales and foreclosures. We started the year with 82% of the inventory as normal sales, and now we're all the way up to 86%. So that's another healthy sign that the market's improving. All right, now let's talk about sales. First up, let's check out last month's sales numbers. Last month, we sold 2,258 homes, that number probably means absolutely nothing to you without context, right? So to add some perspective, this was about 1% less sales than we had last year. Now, before this, we had four straight months of double digit increases over last year. Now, should we be worried about sales being slow? Not really. Naturally, sales slow down from October to December. I was more surprised by the fact that we had been destroying last year's sales numbers before this. So again, not great news, but nothing at all to be worried about. Now for everyone's favorite subject, median home prices. As you can see on the screen now, the current median price is $218,000. Realistically, median prices haven't changed much at all since June. The low end of the market has definitely increased this year, while the ultra luxury high end has just exploded this year but the mid-range market has definitely been tested. While a few neighborhoods have actually increased, I've seen most neighborhoods either stagnant or actually decrease a little bit. Considering we started the year with a median price of $200,000, it's pretty greedy to be upset about experiencing a 9% increase in value this year. Okay, keep in mind, the historical normal rate is 3.2%. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Inventory is stable, and over time, we're seeing more and more traditional sales. Last month's sales took a little dip, but nothing worth being overly concerned about. Median price has been flat for five months now. So what should we expect moving forward? Quite frankly, it's the same as I told you months ago. The market is perfectly stable right now, and I think it'll continue for the foreseeable future like this. Well-kept and upgraded homes are still selling really quickly. However, every buyer is triple checking the comps. So overpricing your home isn't exactly a great strategy anymore. Determine the actual value and then pad it a couple percent for negotiating room. You're likely to get multiple offers and keep that list price if you can attract more buyers. Overpricing too much in this market tends to really turn away agents and buyers from even initiating negotiations. Now, as for buyers, it all depends on where and what price range you're in. The low end of the market can still be a challenge for buyers, but if you're not looking on the low end, there's plenty of deals out there if you're willing to do some light remodeling. Most homes on the market fall into the average category. For the best value, Find a home with a great location, a great lot, and easily fix remodeling issues like ugly oak cabinets, tile countertops, old appliances, bad paint jobs, and flooring. All these items are easily changed and cost much less than you think with the right contractors and warehouse vendors. Well, that's it for this month, guys. Thanks again for watching. Please click here to subscribe, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I'll see you all next month.